Hey guys, so as promised, vlogist. Please excuse my voice. I've been screaming so much today at Soul Cycle. I had such a good day. Three classes today down. Macintosh, did you have a good day? Macintosh had a great day. This is Macintosh. He's almost 16 years old. He has no teeth. He has a cute tongue. So we thought today we would make some zoodles. Do the zoodle dance, bud. Do the zoodle dance, bud. <laughs> Bud wants to eat the zoodles, not make the zoodles. But today, we're gonna make them with this awesome gadget that I have found called the Vegetti. Let me put, I know. Go ahead and insert applause and laugh right now. I know. So yeah, it's a horrible name. It's called the Vegetti. I mean, you would've thought they would've come up with something a little bit better than that. That's not so inappropriate sounding, maybe. But this is it, it comes in a, a package just like this. I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, you can also, I've seen them at like Walgreens. I've seen them like all over. It's, Anywhere they have like, you know, um, most drugstores or places like that will have like an As Seen on TV section. It's in the As Seen on TV. I'm quite sure they have a website. If they do, I'll link it below. Um, but it was like $15. It was super cheap. And let me tell you, it works incredible. And if you're asking me, Olivia, what in the heck does that thing do? I'm going to show you. So it looks like this. It's got little blades here and little blades here. You have two different sides. You can make more of like a linguine and then more of a spaghetti um, out of zucchinis and the summer squash, which is the yellow. I've already done the yellow squash in the bowl just to save time, but I'm gonna show you how easy this is. We're about to make some zoodle spaghetti. It's delicious. It's low in calorie. You could do it on Whole30, which is awesome. And yeah, should we just get started? Yes, let's do it. So this recipe serves four people. So for four people, you're gonna need two large zucchinis, one large summer squash. And when I say large, I mean long, not super wide in diameter because it has to be able to fit right here into this veggie. This is really starting to go south, but you know what I'm talking about. You're gonna need a sugar-free, organic, if possible, marinara sauce in a jar. I find this super easy. Um, especially if you're doing the Whole30 with us, you wanna to try to get an organic one and that has all ingredients, nothing added, all that good stuff, just read your labels. You're gonna need some Italian seasonings. I like these ones that are the grinders that have it all together so you can just grind it right in the pot. You're gonna need a third a pound of free range organic chicken sausage. Um, it's pretty readily available now. If you can't find that, just get um, organic, free range um, ground chicken and add your own seasonings to it. I was able to find some already Italian style at Whole Foods that follow the Whole30 guidelines. So I got that, some baby spinach, and some organic free range chicken broth. Super easy, super quick. All right, so here is the veggetti. I'm using for this the thicker um, one that's more like linguine. I'm seriously, you, this is really embarrassing how easy this is. So I'm gonna take it and put it right in the top. You're gonna hold it here on the little sides and you just start to twist and look, it comes out just like noodles. I'm serious, this is like, when you see those as seen on TV things, you're like, this is never going to work. This is such a waste of money. I mean, I almost laughed when I bought it. And then I got it home and I was like, this thing is incredible. And it is so much fun because you can make so many different kinds. Whoops. So many different kinds of recipes. You can make this Italian. You can make it, you know, and more of like an Asian flair to it. You can really do so many things. So here is what it looks like after you put it through. I mean, look at that. It looks just like spaghetti. Here's some of that summer squash at the bottom. And it's colorful and it's healthy. Kids love it, you can have them help. It does have a little hand guard here that you can put at the top if your kids are using. I find it use, easier to use it without it, but as it gets towards the bottom, you definitely have to um, put this on and use that to like get the last little bits out just like so. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. There we go. So as you can see, I mean, it literally, I mean, would that take like two minutes to get that through? So a total, it took like less than five minutes. So we're gonna go to our skillet. You just need a big pan. I'm telling you, this is like so easy. You're gonna put your pan on high. Now these have to, they do have to cook. You can steam them, you can microwave them, but I find it's just easy to do it all in one pot. Why get a bunch of stuff dirty? You could boil them. I do find though when you boil them, they get a little mushy, so I would skip that. So you're gonna take your low sodium chicken broth and you're just gonna put enough in to kind of get the bottom of the pan, you know, maybe a couple tablespoons, because all we're wanting is just a little bit of liquid to almost steam these vegetables. So you're gonna put that on high and you're gonna let that come 
um, up to a really light simmer. You're just gonna take your Italian seasonings right into that chicken broth. I'm just gonna take a couple turns, you know, maybe like a, tea, uh, like a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, get it right there into um, that chicken broth. Once you have that done, you're just gonna dump your whole big, huge pile of veggies in, and you're just gonna kind of let that cook. I'd say it takes maybe a total of five minutes. I like to use a pair of tongs for this and just kind of work it around and keep that chicken broth close by because you may need to add just a little bit more. I don't even put a lid on it. You could put a lid on it if you wanted to like speed up the process a little bit. I'm also going to add just to add some extra greens in. I'm going to add just a handful or two of spinach. You could chop this up if you wanted to. You don't have to do this part because I know, you know, a lot of children don't like um, spinach but it wilts almost down to nothing and it's such a good way to get a little bit more iron and all that good stuff and you know Popeye and spinach yeah you know I know um so we're gonna just add that spinach right in give it a toss spinach overboard and again you're just gonna let this come up to temperature so once it's been in here for about three or so minutes, everything is gonna start turning really bright green, the spinach is gonna start to wilt, and now is the point to cook it the rest of the way with the sauce in it. So whatever sauce you make sure you get, again, make sure it's sugar-free for the whole 30, especially. In your regular life, if you want you know, sugar in your sauce, that's fine, but I find it just a waste because tomatoes are plenty sweet on their own. So I'm gonna take a cup and a half of sauce and this sauce has garlic and red pepper flake and onion and all the seasonings and things that you would need. So it's super flavorful and you're just going to mix that right in. And the moisture from the actual marinara is what is going to cook this the rest of the way. You're just gonna work that in. You can see already, I mean, look what it just, oh, it's just already like perfect consistency. So now that we've added that in there, we've let that just kind of heat through. It only takes, it literally takes like minutes. You're gonna take your organic chicken sausage, again, it's a third of pounds for two people, and you're gonna dump this in. And that is white, white meat. You can use whatever kind you want, turkey, shredded chicken, whatever you have left over is fine. It's gonna taste delicious. This just happens to be something that I was planning for, so I just made sure I had it. Um, and literally it takes two seconds just to reheat all of that sausage through. Make sure all the sauce is coating everything. And now we're ready to plate. I'm telling you, fastest dinner ever. So I'm gonna get a bowl and I'm gonna plate it up. So here's the finished product. One serving chicken sausage, faux spaghetti, vegetti, whatever, zoodledy doodles, whatever. And I don't know about you, but I am so obsessed with this. It takes no time. It's so easy and it is so, so delicious. I really think kids will like this. You could use this for sweet potatoes, carrots, any kind of squash, zucchinis, cucumbers. I mean, it's endless what you can make with this. So I just thought this product was so cool. I really wanted to show you how easy it was to make. This is like the fad right now at all the fancy schmancy restaurants is like ribbon, you know, zucchini noodles and things like this and you can make this at home super super cheap so for those of you who have watched all the way to the end of the video i am giving this fine vegetti away to one of you fine members one of you fine members one of you fine subscribers the only thing you have to do is be subscribed to this youtube channel and you have to leave a comment below and tell me why you would want to have this in your life and if you have any ideas of what else you would like to make with this. Um, yeah, it's real simple. So just give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you want to see more of this type stuff over Vlogist. And yeah, if you have any specific videos you want to see over the next month, we are open to suggestions. So thank you so much for being patient and waiting for this video. Um, it was super fun and easy to make and I cannot wait to hear all of your recipes and tips and all that good stuff. So until next time, see you soon, guys. Bye. Wait, wait, what? 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 Oh, right, I forgot. Bud says, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Can you give it a thumbs up? Thumbs up from the Bud? Yes? From me and Macintosh. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.